Hey everyone, this is Silas with JBNA, but you can call me Sci-Fi. I love gaming and streaming. I'm always looking for new ways to level up my streaming setup, whether that's by better quality or more engagement. One of the most important aspects of a live stream is the camera quality. And one of my biggest issues is to have a good looking camera oftentimes means it's gonna be very large and bulky. Getting the right POV for your live stream means that your camera needs to be somewhere on top of your monitor or on your desk or maybe to the left and the right. And unless if you have a very large desk, this could be very impractical or even impossible. So when PTZ Optics sent me their new Studio Pro camera, I was super excited to try it out. A lot of you have already heard about or looked into the Studio Pro since it was announced because it well it created a lot of buzz. But for those of you needing an overview, let's take a look at the features of this awesome camera. The most important part of any camera is pretty much always the optics. And this camera looks great. It's one over 2.8 inch CMOS sensor makes a crispy 1080p HD image and its 12x optical zoom allows for a ton of zoom without sacrificing image quality. It's also extremely easy to get that image where you need it to go thanks to its very comprehensive IO. It has HDMI, USB 2.0, USB-C, and even a networking port to take advantage of multiple protocols such as RTSP, NDI, SRT, and more. If you continue to look at the back of the camera, you'll notice a little switch with two rectangles on it. This switch allows you to flip between landscape and portrait mode. This is a feature I don't think I've ever seen on a camera, so it's a really cool addition to have here. The amount of features and camera quality you get for something that's the size of a large coffee mug is really great. This camera could fit easily mounted on a large monitor or a tripod while taking up minimal desk space. The next of my favorite features is that this camera can run off of a single cable in two different ways. Both the USB-C and the network port can pass video and power, so you can have a super clean setup with whichever mode works best for you. This also takes away the need for an encoder or a capture card, which would be necessary for other cameras of this size and price point. That leads me to the biggest awesome thing about this camera, and that it's simply just incredible value for the price. Hovering right around the $700 mark, it's packed with NDI capabilities and so many features, you'd be hard pressed to find something else like it. Some other features I like are the expansive color correcting features, which allow me to get the exact look I want in a camera without having to do extensive post processing. It has an onboard time of flight sensor that allows for extremely fast focus at any distance, and its built in cold shoe mount and threads allow for easy accessorizing or mounting. That means you could easily take the Studio Pro beyond your desk as its low light performance and quick focusing make it a great choice for podcast studios, classrooms, and even some certain sports applications. Besides confusing it for my coffee mug, there really isn't anything I don't love about this camera. There aren't many products I see working so well in the consumer and prosumer market, but this would be well at home with both. A big thanks to PTZ Optics for sending me the Studio Pro to try out, and a huge thanks to you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you think about the Studio Pro. If you want to get your own hands on one, contact the fine folks over here at JBNA, and we'll get you set up. I've been Sci-Fi, and I'll catch you in the next one.